Hello everyone, I'm Galero, here with the latest Alpha 5 update to the Castle of the Sun. The mod has went through a lot of updates over the past, but this one finally gives it some mass and content. Yet it is far away from the finished article. We'll get to the future agenda later on. Firstly, the castle itself is now almost finished, except the workshop and one last interior to finish. Firstly, the castle itself is now almost finished, except the workshop and one last interior to finish. All the finished interiors are now polished, with certain bug fixes and new available areas. Another element of the mod are the contract bots. They serve, or at least for now, as a primary source of questing in the mod. There's a lot of them right now. Castle quests are primary quests, and whenever you see one of these boards, you can expect some quests over there. You can find those anywhere. The castle, New Corinis, upper and lower, and in dungeons as well. You may also find a couple quests on the farm. In the future, you may have to be a bit more inquisitive about nodes nailed to the walls. Of course, just as in Age of Airships, these quests are only speculative. PS4 limitations and stuff. You must read mission briefings, no map markers, no aids other than a note in the inventory for review. I added two new areas for the mod. The old mine is a new dungeon and a reconstruction of the good old Gothic 1 mission with its own internal set of missions. Skyrim, I, I mean Northlands, is a new area that will be a source of more quests in the future. Certain areas of the mod are now changed and I added a lot more improvements to both the landscape and PCAI and available resources. New Corinus received content as well. The quests are now opened and functional, added interiors to most houses. The upper city has two functional interiors, one of which may be a player house. Lower city has its own tavern and guild. Aside those major things, the list of menial content was extended. Multiple new foods, drinks, recipes, potions, weapons, enemies, NPCs, outfits, the list goes on and on and on. The stuff we never give credit in RPGs. More containers with the above mentioned loot. After all, the lack of trader NPCs has to be balanced out with those, for now at least. This covers pretty much all the changes in the update. Now let's talk about what will be next. Firstly, the castle has to be finished. Workshop and stuff will be added, also the city must be finished. Next, I plan to finish the Northlands, add content to the castle in the Northlands, another small settlement and the rest of the area. With the castle, there must be a functional vampirism for PS4. You're gonna get it, I swear. This time, on a par with something more Skyrim-like, as in no sun damage and stuff, I gotta think about it. There is another dungeon to be made. The Lost Catacombs are to push the whole dungeon crawling thing to a proper level. Now all this looks fancy, but with the limitations of PS4 modding, I can't do much more. No custom armors and weapons. No cool dialogues and PCs. No quests and quest lines. No merchants. House purchasing or room rental. No Fusra, duh, and other shouts and complex magic. Not even bloody prostitution and plowing in this party, which are inspired mod. For my new goal is to push towards a full release mod without custom resources to provide for the PS4 community. And then I'll try focusing on completely revamping the whole thing with custom assets and make it a proper mod. Okay, and add prostitution and plowing. So I hope you will enjoy the currently released stuff and look towards the future development of this mod. Thank you for watching and see ya.